Hello viewers, welcome back. So, in my last video you have seen that I created some 3D model, exactly this model over here, which, and this, is, this should be a device which could measure the power of the magnets. So this is the main purpose. So, I think if, if I compare this with my actual design, it's a little bit different, as you can see, yeah? it would go something like this, because this will be the guide, and this will be the magnets, it will not be a vertical as I designed it, but, uh, but uh, horizontal as I designed, but it, it is actually vertical, because it's much more easier to do the testing with the gravity, and you will see why. Yeah? So that's basically this design and what I did. So let's now try to do some testing and see what is this magnet power. Here what I am holding is the device for measuring weight. Basically I have uh, from 0 to 50 kilograms and when you pull this down, this goes up and down and measures the kilograms. And if we want to get newtons, we just multiply it there by 10. And then we will know the force produced or force necessary to close the magnets one to other. So let's now see, do some testing and see how this looks like. Okay, so you can see if I press this up and down, the magnets will return. So I push this down, it goes up. If I move this up and pull, uh, let it go down, it will go this up. So it will repel each other. So these, these are the strong new dim magnets, yeah, N50, uh, uh, N50 model. So basically they are very strong. If, if I let this go, really it goes up pretty, pretty, pretty high. Yeah? So what we will do now? Yeah? So now what we can do basically is to measure, uh, to try to, to put some weights there to see when these two magnets will come one to, to the other. So let's do that. Yeah? So I have here 2.5 kilogram weights. So let's try to put these weights and to see how this will go closer to this bottom magnet. So, so magnets are positions they, 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 that they repel each other. So let's try. This is 2 kilograms or 25 newtons. Okay. You can see we still have the finger more than a finger space left. So let's do one more. Okay. The magnets still hold. So the distance between them. Yeah? So let's do one more. Okay, we still have. Let me do some zooming here. So we have stopped at. So we have stopped at like uh, seven and a half kilograms. So let's put one more to have ten kilograms. Okay. So now we are pressing, pressing. Let me zoom it out. Okay. So now we are pressing these two magnets with the force of one hundred newtons. And we still have almost one centimeter of free space, or they still repel each other. So if we want to do measuring, so I will now remove these magnets and just to try to use this, this device and press this down so that we see how much really it's necessary to make these two magnets close one to the other when they repel each other. Okay. And now we are again at about five centimeters of space. So let me take now this the the weighting device and let's remove this top cap, which is only for purpose of it. I mean, you see, when I removed, it already passed a little bit higher. So let let me try to measure now the force. So I'll put this inside. And now let's try to. To measure. Now I'll try to push down this as we see how much force we need to make these magnets one to the other. So I'm pressing with now 26 kilograms and I still cannot do it. Let me do once again. I have more than 25 kilograms. Okay, now I'm 30 kilograms and I still cannot press it. So 300 newtons are still not enough to make these two magnets, so actually four magnets, because I have two magnets on the, uh, on the bottom and two magnets on the top. So I made this force twice stronger than would be if I remove one magnet here and one there. 
So that's basically it. You can see that really, really high force it's needed to, to move this magnet. So if we make this up, and then you can see, really, this is like a magnetic bearing, yeah? So magnetic trains are working in a similar way, but they are using electromagnets, not the, the permanent magnets, because it would be too expensive to make 100 kilometers of the uh, railways with the magnets, so they use electromagnets, but it's, it's the same the same thing. Yeah. So you can see, it really it has really strong repelling power. So basically, that's it. This is how we can measure the, the force of the magnet. And this invisible force is really beautiful. Yeah? You can see, and, and what I say, it, it's an infinite potential energy, because, you, you know, when you... This would never go down. Yeah? So this is like anti-gravity yeah? in this in this respect. Yeah? Uh, it, this invisible force holds these magnets one from the other on the some distance, and this is let's say unlimited potential energy. And now it's it's the it's the basically the way how to harvest this potential energy and transfer it to the circular motion that we can get real free energy or magnetic motor so i think it's not impossible yeah but it's only a, pr a matter of time or the price how much would it cost and uh, yeah what should it take to make this operation so that's it uh, viewers thank you for watching I, I hope you enjoyed this small presentation on how to measure the power of the magnets in uh, newtons so the force needed to to put these magnets near one to other when they repel each other and that's basically it so thank you for watching until next video bye bye